Hey friends, it's Chris and for this video, right in front of me I have a whole load of different products that I've purchased throughout the last weeks of January and I just want to share them with you. Um, I guess this new year just brought about a renewal of my passion for arts and particularly I think I'm getting my footing back into doing art using colored pencils. So hence, <laughs> after buying the 132 set of the Prisma Premier colored pencils, I was like, can I have some more? <laughs> and thus, um, these different purchases. So um, I'm going to show you the different um, products that I just bought online and of course in Art Bar here in Baguio City. So the first product that I got was, um, let me show you first this um, colored pencil set from Derwent. Okay, so I bought this um, set of colored pencils in Art Bar and this is the Colorsoft 24 set and this is in the old packaging and they were on sale in Art Bar during that time. So there's a really good chance that probably um, Art Bar is just... Um, phasing out these old stock of the Colorsoft pencils. And looking at them right here, and looking at them, the color range is nice and balanced. I like that the 24 set contains the warm tones, the cool tones, beautiful greens, blues, and more importantly to me at least are different earth tones. You know how much I love earth tones. The earth tones are basically the different pencils that I use more often compared to the others. So there is a first um, set of colored pencils. Let's take a look at them on the table. The next item I got were these beautiful open stock colored pencils and uh, um, there went light fast here in the Philippines. It's very difficult to get open stock. Hence, this one shipped from Malaysia and I'm really happy that the seller sent this within the last um, week and it arrived to me I think 9-10 days after they, it's been shipped from Malaysia so I'm just gonna put on here on screen the shop from Shopee where I got them and basically the ones that I got were the different um, Derwent Lightfast pencils. I'm going to show it to you another angle of the pencils that I got. So here are the different pencils that I got. They're absolutely fun to have. And um, these pencils, I hope, will fill in the gaps that's there in my um, 72 set. Because um, the 72 set clearly lacked some bright yellows and some um, reds. This next package that I got is a very simple joy. And um, it's a... <laughs> electric pencil sharpener. The one that I got is still very much functional but um, the pencil sharpener that I get I got originally sharpens it similarly to how a classic sharpener does it. Meanwhile this new pen, um, electric pencil sharpener I got from Dell sharpens similar to how a crank sharpener works and what really drew me in is this one piece um, packaging and um, I've been a fan of the show since I was a kid, probably a decade or a dozen years ago already and I really do still geek out with One Piece and the sharpener works um, I think pretty well and pretty standard for what it is and of course um, it's really nice to actually have in it own. Um, this next, um, next um, product that I got was actually already unboxed while I was in Starbucks with my friends Sam and Henry and it was ju absolutely just a hoot because the um, my two friends really just egged on me so that I'll open it back in the cafe and as you could see I was being pretty much quirky in such a public space and it's actually a rejuvenating feeling 
um, being more open to being myself while I'm in public and to share with um, some friends um, my passion for art supplies and my enthusiasm after they filmed the video was off the roof because um, yeah this notebooks that I got were the two Strathmore tone papers. I got one in tone tan and another one in tone gray. They're absolutely gorgeous looking um, sketchbooks and even if the cover of it is sort of just a cardboard, it has a leatherette like feel to it and I absolutely like it. The paper itself, um, pretty standard. It's very reminiscent of the Mutants and I heard a lot of really good reviews about this um, sketchbook. So hopefully I'd enjoy using it just as much as other people have. Oh yeah, aside from that, I got also a pencil from Polychromos. It's a very rare color here in Art Bar in Baguio City because um, their open stock does not carry this color. This is um, one step up above their white and this is the color ivory. Like, um, legitimately Polychromos really does well when it comes to layering on other wax base pencil and I hope to use this to blend some of my skin tones instead of using white in case I decide to paint portraits or draw portraits rather. And then of course lastly um, kind of a big purchase and I just want to take um, I just want to take this moment to thank um, a special viewer by the name of Barbara. Thank you so much. You're the reason why I was able to buy this online from the oil paint store here in Baguio City. And this um, is now two different sets of colored pencils. Let's take a look at them on the table. So um, the things that I bought using the um, using the gift given to me by Barbara were different pencils that I couldn't get here in Art Bar Baguio, and um, the shipment of this is absolutely great. Um, it was kind of a struggle to open up, but hey, um, it's better to have a difficult time unboxing my um, package rather than have them all. You know, broken down and um, shattered. So I got different sets of Derwent um, pencils as well as this set of um, Koinor um, drawing pencils. I'm just really curious about how these pencils perform and we're gonna see them in action in a little while. It also comes with a very nifty kneadable eraser which we all know kneadable erasers probably are standard but let's see how it compares to my tried and tested Faber-Castell kneadable erasers. These are two of the other Derwent um, colored pencils that I got. This is the Pro Color set I got um, in 12s. And mm, I'm so excited to try them out and see how they are different from other Derwent pencils. There's also this graphite tint, which are basically water-soluble graphite pencils. And oh my gosh, aren't they a beauty to look at? Feeling the tin of the package that was shipped from the oil paint store, I get a feeling that these are old stock. But then again, there's a reason why they are, <laughs> I think, uh, on a cheaper price from where it I bought them. But then again, you know what? Um, as long as the product performs well, um, I'll be really happy. And of course... Um, I'll eternally like treasure these different art supplies because I know every time I look at this set of pencils, I'll think of um, the kind, kind heart and generosity and words of encouragement of Barbara. So again, mega thanks to you, Barbara, for um, your gift and definitely um, will be treasuring these art supplies for the rest of the time that I got them. And of course, for this um, really nice words that you said. Um, to me on your messages, but um, enough of the mushy things. Let's get into swatching all of the different art supplies that I got Let's start with unboxing and removing them from their packaging and I'm starting with these Koinor um, Toy Sondor pencils and It's my first time to actually buy from this brand. I've been keen on getting the Koinor colored pencils and 
somehow haven't pulled the trigger yet but maybe one of these days i'll be buying it i saw um a set being sold in i think that's art maven or either stationary house so the needable eraser is basically it feels similar to how most needable eraser does and i don't know what to say about it but let's check it out later on after um, I'm done swatching the other pencils. Isn't it funny that I said we're gonna use it later on, but then I proceed to unbox it. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so this um, kneadable eraser or eraser is not actually a kneadable one. It's basically a... Huh, that's weird. It's It's similar to... It's like a hybrid of a needable eraser and a regular eraser. It's still kind of tough. I don't know if it's because it's cold from where I live here in Baguio City, but it's not as soft as the one in Faber Castell. So I'll tell you more about it when I get to using them. These are the pencils we're going to use, and we're going to use them straight from the packet. And I'm swatching them on my Peter Popper sketchbook that I. I haven't used it in a while, but it, it's it been hidden under my desk, buried by a lot of things that I own. So here's the HB. By the way, I've pre-written some of the labels for the um, things that we're going to swatch. It's okay. It feels pretty standard. I don't know what else to tell you about graphite pencils, man. Let's try to sharpen it in my Dell sharpener. By the way, here's an insert of how it performs sharpening a regular pencil. But it does sharpen pencils to a very, very nice needle point. So you can get details out of it really, really nicely if you're into um, those sort of things, those sort of drawings. It's okay, it performs nice, and since it's an HB, you can blend it to soften some of its edges. I just use my fingertip because <laughs> this is by far not a commissioned work, it's just for me to assess how this pencil performs. And the pencils on the hand, it's hexagonal, so it feels different from what I'm used to. I wait a minute now that I'm thinking about it, um, most of my pencils are round i guess is it huh don't you like it when you have those moments for wait my graphite pencils are all hexagonal or i don't know if i'm having a mandala effect that um my karen dash um pencils are rounded or um hexagonal so that's a mystery to solve okay so this is the 2b pencil it's, of course, pretty soft, nice and soft, and pretty shiny. Give it a quick sharpen. Hmm. For being a B pencil, they feel kind of kind of hard to blend out. Usually for my Karandash or for my Studler, um, the higher you go, the easier it is to blend out. But I have to admit, it is kind of dark. Here's the 4B1. So you could see it, it's now significantly dark darker compared to the HB1. Ooh, a lid snapped. Okay, so I guess it's not that soft and easy to blend, or it's just because it's darker. Um, my fingers, I'm just I'm rubbing it against each other, so maybe it's releasing some oils from my fingertips. That's why it's hard to blend. I'm too lazy to get up and get a pencil stub to blend this. Then lastly, we have here now our 6B, their darkest, and I have a lot of expectations from it. 
Okay, so it does give us a good dark and deep value and I feel like it's a little bit softer compared to the others. Oh no! Did you see that? It just broke off. So let's try to sharpen it. So I think that's a testament to how soft it is. Oh! Leads are snapping, so I guess it is softer than the others. Let's see its bendability. I'm gonna use my pinky since um, my other fingers are kind of dirty now. Okay, so this one blends a bit easier, but it's still not as... It doesn't get as soft as that of my other um, graphite pencil switch. It's okay. I think I'll find purpose for it and I think it will do me well if I'm drawing on details. So these are the Koinar pencils that I got. And of course, I've been using this Bell sharpener. And it sharpens the pencils really nicely. Let's turn the page now and it's time to swatch the Derwent Lightfast pencils. All these Derwent pencils that I got were exclusive from the 100 set of the um, Lightfast. So the, I'm pretty sure that I don't have them in my set right now, considering that I haven't yet bought any of the other um, Lightfast pencils. Just the 72 set that they have right now. So this one is Golden Sun. Oh man, I forgot how colored pencils feel on the paper. It's been a while since I've used this quality. I've been a bit too precious with my current set, but wow, it lays down very beautifully on the paper, very soft, very smooth. This is yellow. So I'm going with a deep burnished finish and then I'll slightly taper and um, fade it out. Just so we can see how deep it goes and how well it layers with itself and obviously um, considering that the light fast is the top of the line from Derwent, they are, they feel really top notch. So you have here now gold. It's funny that um, these yellows over the colors that took them quite some time to formulate but I do understand because probably um, they really wanted to make sure that their yellows are um, fade resistant because from their 72 range and even looking at their um, 36 set um, they really were very generous with the earth tones and grays but not really with our um, with our reds and yellows This is dark orange. Hmm, I love that. Going now with dark, with dark honey. Here we go. Oh yes. Um, this reminds me of a Derwent drawing pencil color. I think they also carry dark honey there, or maybe it's something that reminds me of this color. And I absolutely love that. And Having it here right now, I'm happy. It's very, very nice. And this is now going to be apricot. Yeah, here it is. Oh, there's slightly some overlap with the dark honey. They look very similar and I am... Okay, all right. So the dark honey and apricot um, are very similar to each other, albeit the apricot is a little more um, bright and orangey. And the dark honey is a bit more brown and um, dark, but looking at it right now from where I am after swatching them, they look very similar. So this is autumn brown. I'm not going to go in the order anymore. Yes. Okay, so this is another color that I like using, especially for shadows, hair, and deeper skin tones, the eyes. This is going to be a very instrumental color, but... I believe that they already have a similar color here. I think um, Mars Violet is somehow similar. Nevertheless, it's nice to have. We have here now Chestnut.
Oh, yes. That's pretty nice. Then here's the um, autumn red. I hope it's a brighter one. Yay! Because I think from the full set, there's only two reds, like true reds and not earthy reds that they have in that full set of the, um, no, in that 72 set. And having autumn red um, adds to the collection making it feel like it's more complete. And this is Warm Earth. Oh man, if there was a color palette for me, this is absolutely gonna be it. Um, I love these colors and the performance of the pencils, absolutely stunning. Now I'm going to just um, have a swatch with the polychromos and yeah, it just feels really different. So these are the colors that um, that were part of that Derwent Open Stock haul. And I'm so excited to use them and incorporate them with my collection. But I'm not sure if um, anyone else does this. But sometimes when I buy new art supplies, I want to keep them separate first from my entire collection. Just so that you could savor the idea of having them um, being new to your collection or having them as new to your collection so you separate them for a while before you start incorporating them yeah i think it's probably just me when it comes to that but nevertheless i'm happy to have all these and you know it just provides me a special corner to appreciate them before they become like staples and regulars so we're going to um swatch now the derwent pro color and Oh, the light tints that I'm using is kind of bright and it's reflecting. So the Pro Color um, pencils from their went is basically a, another version of their um, um, colored pencil lines. And I have the impression that these um, Pro Color pencils are sort of their um, bridge between their um, color soft and their um, artist um, line of colored pencil. And I have... Um, most of the um, pencil range from Derwent and if you're interested for a video of me comparing the different um, Derwent pencils then I'll be happy to share my thoughts on each um, line of pencils that they have. So this is the one as provided by Barbara and let's give it a whiff. Okay it smells very chemically and colored pencil like. So looking at the range of colors, yeah, it's it's pretty standard, but despite it being standard, it's still um, balanced. And the way the pencil feels is absolutely nice on the hands. Um, and then it has a nice weight to it, proper thickness. I feel like it's it feels nice in the hands. I don't know how much help that would give, but it's a fact it feels nice in the hands it feels lighter compared though to my light fast oh wow that purple is very very juicy i like it So that's so this is the pro color range of the 12 set from Derwent and I'm surprised that there is no white actually. Um white is usually um most colorists choice for um blending out their colors. Let's see how they sharpen. All right, it sharpens nicely to a great needle point thank you so much to the dell sharpener let's see how it holds though okay so it's performing nicely um it doesn't snap it doesn't break and given that i'm kind of burnishing here on the side mm, okay all right so it gives me the impression that this is um of higher oil or less wax content compared to our Prisma Premier colored pencils and it's pretty nice. Um, 
fact, stay tuned for more information about these colored pencils and other red pencils for my upcoming video. Yeah, right now, on the spot, I've decided that I will be um, filming the entire video of um, comparing all the different red pencils. This one is the Graffitint, which is basically a... Um, it gives me the impression initially like it's... Um, graphite that's tinted but i think it's more of like a water soluble pencil that's also incorporating some graphite into it i don't know let's see how it performs first as a dry media and maybe in that comparison video i'll show to you now how um how it performs when wet so first let's open it up and give them a swatch Okay, first off, it smells it feels, it smells very distinct and different compared to the um, Pro Color set. There's, there's one thing. Wait. Okay, right now, um, it feels creamier than the um, Pro Color. It's almost reminiscent of the Derwent drawing pencils. Okay, first breakage, man down, man down. <laughs> I don't want to waste this core. Considering that it's diff difficult to buy open stock from where I live. Uh, let's try to give it a sharp one. Hopefully it's not shattered until the end. Oh no! Ugh. Okay, so she's... She's... Too thick for Miss Dell over here. Ugh. Okay, let's just put that aside. Maybe I have to be more careful with these ones, considering that they are softer. Anyway, let's continue the time lapse. Alright, so this is the set of the Graphitint. Again, um, these two pencils, Care of Barbara, thank you so much. This page, swatch page, primarily is dedicated to you. And of course, um, not making any promises, but I hope to make a special piece dedicated to you soon. And now we have here the color soft, and it's supposed to be spelt with a U and my dyslexia just really got the best of me where where I spelt it wrong, tried to make amends, turned out I couldn't fix it, so I just rewrote it there on the side. So um thinking that it's old stock, I think it will have an effect on the pencils, but let's just stick a gander and see how it performs on regular swatching. So let's open it and Okay, this one. Okay, this one also has a different scent to it, but it's not as. I don't want to say it, but it's less bothersome compared to the graphitin one that I <laughs> took a whiff earlier. And since this is a 24 set, um, it has um, more colors into it and it contains white, so I'm happy. Um, a lot of people. Um, especially on color tube, they compare the color soft with the Prisma Premier um, color pencils, but in better um, cases or pencil cases. And I have to admit, it does. It does feel better than the Prisma Premier pencils itself. But the performance of the core is, yeah, it feels very much the same. It's soft but it's not as like waxy creamy um easy to break compared to the um prisma premier ones this one actually feels nice and huh you know what if i enjoy this um enough i don't want to <laughs> get ahead of myself but it feels very much just like the prisma premier colored pencils and now I have a thinky that I might consider buying the full set now. <laughs> no, that's not practical. I should stop myself first. Um, I have way too many colored pencils now and it's just... I'm going to just um, stick to what I got.
all right okay so that's me swatching out the Derwent color soft now and um it isn't a prisma premiere pencil it is close to it but not exactly it's a bit it's kind of stiffer okay okay um this is also thicker compared to the um prisma premiere that's why my dell sharpener can't feed it through okay i just jammed it in and i think we have progress i think we could all right it sharpens to a fine point and you could see that the core is very thick let's see how it works on okay yeah it will snap if you sharpen it to a needle point definitely gonna snap if you sharpen it to a needle point that's what i love about the polychromos because you can get into a needle point all right so it crumbled very similar to um a karandash luminance pencil actually i'm sorry you didn't see that <laughs> yeah it crumbled when it was um, by the fine points but um it doesn't break and i imagine if that happens to a, um if i did that to a prisma premier colored pencil the entire um part that you sharpened out would probably break off but this one it just crumbled and have tiny shards within your paper but hey um each pencil is different and there's a you know advantages and things that you like with each um brand of pencil that you're using and notice that i <laughs> i tested green pencils on the dell sharpener because um i don't use greens that much hence it's like um, an easy sacrificial lamb to me when it comes to um, testing things out. So that's um, the different colored pencils that I got. Yeah, I'm absolutely contented with the pencils that I now have. And I have even more content to um, share with you based on that. And um, before we go, maybe we could try out the strathmore tone tan and tone gray paper as well so i'm going to swatch a um colored pencil here a graphite and then a white pastel pencil on this one and maybe i'll just grab some random colors so instead of a white pastel pencil i'll just use this ivory polychromos on it let's just check how um figures look on both of them Okay, so a while ago I compared them to dummy taunts, but now I think I have to take it back because the paper is very smooth compared to dummy taunts. Hmm, it's working pretty well. So there's a poorly drawn ball on the tone gray, and you could clearly see that um, the paper was able to handle it. And I'm excited to try to layer um, pencils on it because I've seen artworks of um, some people um, using the um, Strathmore toned papers and um, they were able to layer a lot with them. Alright, so the, the paper seemed to be able to take on the pencils really well so i'm i'm looking forward to it that's me swatching all of the recently hauled products i hope you enjoyed it so yeah that's it that's the video um i know that um some of you who enjoy watching hauls are kind of overwhelmed or some of you might have a iffy feeling if someone posts about hey look at these different things that i got well um I just want to tell you guys that you don't have to buy all of these art supplies. I'm buying these art supplies so that I can review them and I can share them with you. And others are just basically treats to myself. And if you feel like you would want to treat yourself, then you should not stop yourself from buying things that make you happy. But of course, you have to be responsible also of our finances. Or at least that's what my friends tell me when I get in the mood of spending and buying a lot of art supplies. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day your week, your month, and this year. And of course, I wish you all the love. And as always, peace.